they talk about American Indians, they talk about Canadian Indians, they talk about the Mayan, they talk about the Aztec, they talk about the Egyptians and all that stuff there. And us blackfellas here in Australia are sitting down here with all this knowledge about all that story up there. And the best story I've ever heard about what is the dreaming. Whitler marked uh, Vincent Lingiari yeah, up there in um, Dagaraga, he said to him, on that handbag. Whitlam said to him, what is the dream time? Okay. And Vincent Lingiari saw a biplane over just off in the distance. And he said, now if you go over there to that aeroplane, he said, you stand close to that wood and look through that wood. He said, you can't see on the other side. Right. right. And he said, you start that aeroplane up now and get that thing going. And let it go real fast. He said, you can see everything on the other side. Right. He said, but you put your hand inside there. <laughs> right? And he said, that thing is still there. Yeah. Yeah? He said, you white fellas don't know how to slow your mind down to see what's on the other right. side. Right, okay. Right. That was his that's explanation. That's, that's lovely, yeah. Yeah? And I've heard that from a lot of old people saying, white fellas don't know how to slow it down. We sit down and we tell stories about what's up there, mm. you know, and, and these are things that well before the white fellas ever come here. And, and we have these stories, and there's a lot of deep secrets in those ceremonies oh, yeah. as well. Yeah. And that's what I'm always wondering, why haven't people come to us and started asking about it earlier? Because, you know, they, they completely ignore the knowledge that's there. Well, it's better late sitting. than never, right? Eh? It's better late than never, oh, right? Well, that, that's true, that's true. Well, the first one we talk about is that Milky Way up there. All those stars, nighttime, is when all our ceremonies, are, we hold all them. And the reason your Aliai people law says that we have to have nighttime ceremony is because that way we know what the world is around our places. And so when we come together, we talk about our connection to the creation. The emu is a very important bird on the earth. And for my, that's my grandfather's mob. But the emu story, for us here, we talk about what we tell, you know, the children. Is if you look up there now, winter time, and you look in the Milky Way, you see that Dinoan laying up there. But we don't call that Dinoan. That one up there is a special emu, and we call that one Gawagu. And Gawagu is a featherless emu. It's a spirit bird. It's a spirit emu. And it's a water spirit. And that water spirit is vital for us. When Venus shows as the first star in the sky in the nighttime, that's when we light the fires. Then if we go and we want to take this story, we take this one up to a place called Wind Gallon. When you go between um, Indy Gully and Tallwood, the place is called Wind Gallon, and they got there all these water holes like this here, just very much similar to them. And then you can follow this here story all the way then. And uh, that one there, you can see this story in the sky at night time, at a certain time between August and October. You can see where these water holes are up there. You can follow the track. So when you know when you're travelling, you don't travel across country where there's no water, you'll make sure you go on which way, you go on which way them water holes are. And that's what guides you up there, so you, you get taught all those things. Uh, this will link you all the way to Gundabooka as well. There's actually very strong links between what yeah, me as a white fella, <laughs> yeah. hearing these stories, I think, wow, this, this is actually not that different from what we're doing with right. this. And what I'd really love to see is, you know, indigenous kids using this background, using this knowledge and coming and now mm. doing cutting edge astrophysics oh, yeah. and understanding how the universe works, how galaxies work, mm. how stars are born, where black holes come from. All, you know, that's the stuff we're doing here. I also like when you were talking about the going up the tree trunk to get into the sky. Yeah. If you fall into a black hole, mm. you know, we don't actually know what happens when things fall into a black hole. But one idea is that they, they may travel through something we call a wormhole and come out. Wormhole, of that's right. And when you're describing these, this tunnel going yeah. from the earth to the sky, yeah. that, that's you know, it's a nice parallel to what may happen when things fall into black holes. Oh. They get transported from one place to another yeah, well, without, that's, without that's, having to go through the intervening space. Yeah, well, that's what we say. That's the way to Bulima. That's the way it's going, Cap. Yeah. And that's, that's how we read these stars. They're like a calendar. They're also a spiritual location. They tell us where things are. They tell us how things work here. They tell us about how we created 
they tell us about our connection and they also tell us about what sort of weather we're going to have as well so we can read those things up there.